those if you'd like to make a comment or two. Otherwise, we'll just go into questions. It's up to you what you'd like to do. Yeah, um, obviously proud of our season, proud of getting to the national championship game. Uh, we just didn't have our game today. Just could never get into rhythm, never get our strengths of our, of our team game going. Uh, Plattsburgh played a great game. Um, hopefully the NCAA maybe follows Division I uh, and, and goes to a day off between uh, semifinal and the final. I think that's crucial. Uh, us playing the late game in a very emotional game on, on Friday against St. Thomas and getting five players drug tests and not home till midnight. There needs to be an examination of a day off, I think, between um, championship games and semifinals. So I think that was a huge factor into it. We just didn't have any energy from, from last night's win and never got our legs. And uh, Plasper played a great game, and, and hats off to them. Questions? How were the range of emotions with the players? Obviously, these two look very sad, but I did see at least a few smiles out there finishing second. How how was the range of emotions after the game with the players? Obviously, we're, we're disappointed. I mean, um, it was bittersweet. We, we got to this point um, and, and had a tremendous season. And uh, like I said earlier, we just, we just never could find our game today. Uh, we never found our legs. Um, we just... We just didn't have our game today, and uh, it, it was it's a tough pill to swallow that you get to this point, and and uh, you're not operating on all cylinders. But it's it's a again a tremendous season um, to look back and think four years Hamlin's at the bottom of the polls nationally, and four years later we're in a national championship game. We've come a long way in the program, and, and that that's credit to my my players on each side of of trust in our vision of. Uh, of what we said we would build here to, at Hamlin University, and um, they trusted our vision and, and, and came here, a leap of faith, and and these two players really have left a profound impact, especially Leah, who's who's graduating on this program, and then Bree, obviously the first player to ever uh, win a National Player of the Year award for Hamlin. Uh, there's a lot of firsts going on this year, and it's just another stepping stone we feel as a program. Uh, that we're moving in the right direction. Uh, but obviously, we would have uh, hoped for a better game today. Natalie, could you just elaborate a little more on what, on what Leah has meant to this program, you know, in, in her seasons here, and what she's meant to the, the uh, ascension of this program? You know, Leah came to us last year, and she's uh, just a, her growth as a player. Uh, I think she came to us last year, and, you know, when, when we said something, we talked about angling in D zone, she's like, what? <laughs> you know? Uh, and she's just trim, just grown as a... As a as a player, um, and then this year to see her grow as a leader. You know, when when I look to somebody as a leader, I'm, I'm, I'm usually looking to Leah. And uh, she's had an outstanding year. You know, last year um, was more of a role player for us. And this year, you know, second team All-American, scored some significant goals for us at, the, at good times. Um, and, and as we told the kids in the locker room, the kids leaving us have made a significant impact on Hamlin hockey. And have certainly left a left are leaving way better than when when they found it, and, and that's how we measure success. These guys are leaving the program in a, in a really good spot. They're paving the way for future Hamlin hockey players, just like last year's team paved the way. I don't think I don't think Bree gets a all uh, all you know whatever the award is, Laura Hurd Award, Player of the Year, if the team didn't exist last year. That team paved the way for this team this year, and this team what they did this year is going to pave the way for. The, the Hamlin teams in the future, um, and and that's for us. Our goal is next year. Our goal for us next year is to be in the same exact spot with with different emotions. Question for the two players: Natalie talked about have, wanting to have a day off in between the games. Were either one of you the drug tested players? <laughs> we both were. Oh, or <laughs> you both were okay. Yeah, I. Not that I have any say, and I'm just a player, but I think that really threw our team and our game off. I mean. Bree and I, as well as another top forward and one of our top D, we were stuck there until we didn't get back to the hotel until 12 last night. We were pretty rattled about the whole situation. I understand there's nothing that we can do about it. That's part of the protocol. But even before the game or today, we sat around all day, had nothing going on besides the pregame skate to allow us to go back and celebrate with our team and kind of rally around each other after a huge win coming in today would have been nice. And us being stuck somewhere else where our team's at the hotel having dinner together. I think it threw us off a little, and, and then it kept us up all pretty late. And 
we got to get up early to get our get our day going like how we usually would. So I think it definitely had a had a part. I'm, I mean, that's not why we lost today, but that's just my opinion. So how many hours behind the team were you and get back to the hotel? About three. About three. Okay. Yep. And how about how were the legs, Bree? You know, staying up late and all that kind of stuff. And today. I mean, can't really do much about it, but uh, you just gotta come 100% every time. And today we just didn't have our 100% every time. And uh, like Leah said and Natalie said, it showed today. And especially the drug testing, having our top players up till midnight one. Just how it is, I guess. And let me make it clear, it's not an excuse. No. We're just asking yeah, for no. protocol to change. Yeah. Um, right. I think it's crucial, regardless of drug testing or not, that there should be a day off between semifinals and finals, just like Division One. I. I think it's crucial. Now we had a five-on-three power play in the second period. Do you, you feel that was a chance to get back into the game? Yeah, we had several chances. Bree had a uh, – Coles had a breakaway, number 18, shorthanded. Um, you know, and we, we had our chances, we had our opportunities. We just we just didn't have it today. We just didn't have that killer instinct. Credit to them. They we never were able to get tight on the goalie. They were flying around. Uh, you know, bodies were flying around. Uh, their players were almost making the saves a lot for the goalie. They played they played uh, they played to win, and they did everything they could. And uh, credit to them. They just they they had more will to us and a little bit more battle than us today. Um, but uh, yeah, we had plenty of opportunities. We just we just never could find the back of the net today. What happened on the intercepted pass for their second goal? Um, <laughs> we just it, it, that was just indicative of our play today. We we just we weren't making simple, clean plays, and uh, unfortunately, that was a timely mistake where one of our D got the puck and rushed it up ice and didn't really have her head up and. That was just the, the, the story of our night as we, we, we just did not, we, our, our game is take three hard strides, make them come to us and make the simple play. And, and tonight we were just flat footed a lot and throwing the puck too much. We just got away from our game. Um, and it happens. Uh, it's just unfortunate that it happened on, on one of our most important nights. Leah, despite losing tonight, what's it meant for you to, to you know, take this ride this year with these girls? and? Uh, you know, be the first Mayak school to go to a national national title game. What's that whole experience been for you? It was awesome. We've had a really great year and kind of beat the odds. No one ever believes in us. No one ever is like, Hamlin deserves it. And every single girl on our team believed it this year. We never doubted each other, regardless of what everyone else was thinking. And it meant a lot to us to even be in this position. And we just worked hard all year, and I'm just so proud of the whole team. We've come a long way, and I'm excited to see where they go in the future. You played your high school hockey around here, obviously, and, and now you know got to play for a great program here, close to home again. How special has that been for you to, to you know continue to play college hockey in, in the area? It's been fun. It's, we have a great um, support system and fan base, which is it makes games fun when people are supporting us and cheering us on. It makes things fun, and having parents, family, friends, everyone around rallying around you is a pretty good feeling. And I couldn't be more happy and thankful for my family and friends and as well as the students at the school who always traveled, no matter where we were playing, to support us. The atmosphere against St. Thomas was just an awesome atmosphere, right? You know, how, how special was that atmosphere to play in? Because that must have been just such a cool environment to play in. Yeah, as we were talking about last night, it didn't feel like it was St. Thomas's home rink. It felt like we kind of came in this rink and made it our own, and our fans seemed to be louder and taking up more of the stands. So I feel like that really led to our success. When the fans get going, so do we. And last night, we just had an amazing group of people in the stands, and I think it really contributed to our Bree, success. Bree, you obviously will be coming back next year. You guys are third last or second this year. First next year, I mean, what are the chances? What do so. you think? I really hope so. Um, Natalie and uh, Jake have been recruiting really good girls that um, that we've seen play. And uh, I hope we can just all c come together like we did this year and uh, just have a little more push and a little more drive next year. So uh, like Natalie and Leah said, or Natalie for sure said that uh, everyone's paved the way before us and uh, our seniors this year definitely paved the way today and this weekend and hopefully next year we can just have a lot more push and be happy in this right now. But. Thanks so much coach and players. Thanks. Thanks for